What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. It is I, it is me, it is your boy. E to the R to the I to the C. And this right here is the Life and Times of Eric blog. And this is the after work slash trap slash car kind of goes. Okay, we'll see about when we get home, okay? Calls T Mac in the back seat, and as you can tell in the background, y'all hear Heart Boogie. Heart Boogie, Heart Boogie is working her uh, 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 diaphragm. Di um, uh, what's it called? Diaphragm? Like you know, them singers be like, la, 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 la. huh? You want to wave? Go ahead. T Mac is back there, y'all. She want to wave to everybody. Go ahead, wave, baby. You gonna wave? Go ahead, wave to everybody. Yay! Hey, T Mac. I'm glad T Mac's waving. I'm glad she's feeling better. You know, a little bit earlier she didn't she didn't feel like waving, but I'm glad she's feeling. Thank you, baby, for waving. Yep, I'm glad she's feeling better. She, yep, super, super, super. Glad she's feeling better and waving. So as you can hear, T Heart Boogie back there working on diaphragm. La 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 la. Yep, we got we got your X Men shirt. It's coming. T Mac is working the diaphragm, getting her. You see, she's learning to talk more. Uh, la, 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 la. T Mac used to do the same thing that Harper's doing right now with all that. La, 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 la. The next thing you know, she's tired. That day, Ella, Ella. She's learning, she's getting her words together so she can learn how to speak. You used to do that same thing. So we're happy about that. We're definitely happy about that. We want Harper speaking too. So imagine now, yo, you are, while I'm recording, you'll see two beautiful. Beautiful black girl magics in the backseat speaking at the same time. And you never know. Put them both on the screen and let them both wave and all that good stuff. So be prepared. My co hosts are coming and they're prepared and they're ready to rock and roll. So, like I said, this is another after work. You can tell by me, Yana, this is after work as well. It, it'll get to you, man. The, the, the heat. Everything now will just get to you. It's like, oh my goodness, it's so hot. You be like, what is going on? Like my worst fear is it gets so hot. It'd be like those movies where it's like everything has to be connected by tunnels. Or when we go outside, you gotta put your suit on because the sun will burn you. Or like that one movie with Napita in it, where you go outside and you, you can't breathe the air because it's so bad. That's what I that I pray it don't happen. You know, that's like the worst thing that can happen for you. You know what I mean? That's what you don't want. But if we don't take care of the ozone layer, that could definitely happen. I'm going to tell you that right now. If we don't take care of the ozone layer, that can definitely happen. And I'm telling y'all right now, you, you really got to be uh, be very, very careful on what you're doing, taking care of the ozone layer, and just making sure that we all do our part. You know, some people don't really care about it because it's like, oh, what does it affect? Like, it affects our children's children, you know what I'm saying? Recycle when you can and everything else that you can do. You know, me personally, I, I became a big site recycler after I saw I Saved by the Bell and they wanted that oil in the backside and in the, in the behind Bayside High and they were drilling and had that little oil rig and they were drilling and the oil got into the pond and it killed all the animals. It killed that little goose that goose or duck that Zach had. It got oil on it and the duck died. After that, I promise you, I, I recycled till I couldn't recycle no more. That's what really motivated me to start recycling. Isn't that crazy? I saw the oil, and then after that, they were like, yeah, anything can happen. Anything can get into the pond. I think they said oil, and I don't even think they said recycling nets or recycling bottling nets from, from um, six packs. You know, like, you know, you have six pack of cans, you know, those little things, you're supposed to rip each one of them and recycle them. I, used to, I, I don't even think they even said that. I don't know if they said it or they didn't say it, but I saw that oil and was like, I got to recycle. I got to recycle. I think after that, I may have saw a commercial that talked about those nets getting stuck on ducks and everything else like this, recycling stuff, getting stuck on the animals, and it motivated me. And I was like, I got to recycle. I got to recycle. I think we all have had our experiences where we saw something, um, heard something, secondhand heard it or read something that made us be like boom this is the defining moment in my life where I'm going to change uh, my attitude my personality turns towards certain things and I'm going to start going this way doing this and that happened for me 
Um, Bayside High, Saved by the Bell. I, I saw that. Okay, we'll get some chips when we get home, boo. Bayside High, Saved by the Bell, that happened to me. Um, when that happened to that duck, I was like, yo, I gotta recycle, bro. I gotta recycle. Then I started looking it up, and then, like I said, I think I either, I, I don't remember that episode spoke about it, which I had to go find the rest of the Saved by the Bell episodes. They're probably on, now they're probably on Paramount now, but I think before at one point on Netflix. I should have watched all the seasons. I just didn't get to the chance to. I know I watched all the seasons of Oz, and just just know that was enough to make me be like, y you know something? Hard crime is not the way to go. You might want to do some blue, uh, white collar crimes. White collar crimes might be the way you need to go. Blue collar crimes ain't it. White collar crimes, if you're gonna commit them, that's the way to go. Not blue collar. Drugs, nope. Murder, nope. Uh, knocking off a bank, nope. Embezzlement, yep. You know, Ponzi schemes, yep. You might want to go that way because uh, blue collar jail, it was getting too wild up in there, and now the BC was having fun, with, fun in the sun. But anyways, beyond that, I saw that, and I was like, I gotta recycle. So it's always interesting later on in life, years, years later, how something could just be so detrimental that it changes your mindset that you always remember it, like. Seeing that has made me a big recycler. Like, I recycle cans. I recycle bottles. I recycle plastic. I'm on First Lady all the time about recycling because she don't recycle. You know, I don't know what they do out there. Whether she's from Port Gibson and then from Jackson. I don't know what they do out there. But where I'm from, I recycle. You know what I'm saying? And then even when I moved to, to Atlanta, um, I used to have, I had a closet full of bottles that I meant to take the recycle bin. And then when I was getting ready to leave, I, had, I finally took them. And it was like, I promise you, it was like almost... 40 bags of just plastic bottles I took over there and I recycled all of them. Now, I had enough to build a playground and a sidewalk if need be. I had enough that if I was homeless and I was collecting cat change for them, I would have been good. I would have been that good because I had that many bottles in there. That many bottles in a bag. You know what I'm saying? I was, I, I was on it recycling. So, I mean, like I said, it, it was detrimental it changed my outlook. It changed my perspective. It just made me just be like, yo, I got to do this recycling thing. This little duck's life is, is dependent on me. And if I don't do this, this duck's life, he, this duck is going to die. Like there could be another duck that dies if I don't do this. So, man, I, I, was, I was definitely on it. Full scale on it. You know what I'm saying? And I made sure to, to recycle. And then... Even since then, 15 plus years later, I still recycle. You know what I'm saying? Like, still. I get something, I recycle. I watch recycling shows, make sure I'm recycling stuff. I'll be looking up to see what I can recycle, what I can't recycle, what I need to take it. You know, at one point, you know, they, they say you could they, you could recycle plastic black bags if you take them to Walmart. I used to take all my plastic bags to Walmart, but then I wear a documentary that, you know, you take them to Walmart, but then I really recycling them, and it's best to just throw them in the trash. I was conflicted with that, and I started researching to figure out what was best. You know what I'm saying? I was just very in, in, indulged and involved in this whole recycling process. You know, I posted videos. I've been out here in Texas. I, when I lived in Arlington, I used to drive to Fort Worth to recycle a lot of my stuff because in Arlington, you couldn't recycle at all. Like, literally, could not recycle nothing. I was like, I like this is so bad. Texas has nowhere to recycle. That's one of the problems out here in Texas. There's nowhere to recycle. Maybe because it's a Republican state. I don't know what. But there's not that many places to recycle. Now, where we stay on Denton, you can. You, can, you have like a little barrel. You can put your bottles in and recycle. And so I'm so happy. I'm so thankful for that. But in Arlington, nothing. I had to drive to Fort Worth. You know, I would drive all the way out to Fort Worth. It'd be like 20 minutes to where I had to go. And I would just dump my stuff on the recycling little place. And I was just happy to do that because I felt like I'm, I'm doing my part in recycling. And all that started because I, that one episode of Say by the Bell, when I saw that duck get shot with oil on it, and it just made me be like, I think they were like, you know, the duck got shot with oil, and you know, oil, oil accidents happen, and then I saw another thing, it was a dove commercial with oil, and they were like, we have stuff in the water, oil, you know, plastic rings from bottles, we gotta do our part and recycle, and it just, just combined from what I saw from Say by the Bell, and after that, I've been hooked. After that, I've been hooked, man. I've been hooked to um, recycle, so, you know, it's just crazy. It's crazy, and I, 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 I go back to my point is, what is your moment in your life that you saw something or experienced something or overheard something or read something that made you be like, man, 
I'm gonna change my mindset, my attitude, and I'm gonna start doing what I learned or what I saw differently. You know, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And like I said, we're on this journey to become financially free, mentally free, and create a health as wealth. You know, because you're my accountability partner, I'm your accountability partner. So remember, you got to be intentional about what you want in life, how you're going to get it. You got to be meticulous about how you're going to keep it, how you're going to grow it, how you're going to get more. And lastly, but not least, always, always remember, what do we have to say, T-Mac? Keep living your life, because if you don't, your life is not going to live you.